In the last video, we looked at um, finding our own solutions to a particular equation. And in that last video, remember that y was all by itself. And because y was all by itself, finding three solutions actually was a pretty easy task because um, all we had to do was pick three different x values and then plug in those x values and figure out what y should be. And it also allowed us to see easily what would be a good x value to pick and a bad x value to pick. And so just to remind you, we were looking at the equation y equals 1 3rd x minus 1. And so the fact that I could see that x needed to be multiplied by 1 3rd told me to pick x values that were divisible by 3 so that when I multiplied by a third I would still just have an integer. So there were a lot of advantages to having one of the variables isolated first and the one that we tend to like to isolate most is y uh, and, and the reason for that you'll understand more as you continue on in algebra. Okay. So in this particular example it says solve the equation negative 2x plus 4y equals 8 for y find three solutions to the equation, and then graph the equation. So here they're telling you solve it for y first, then find your solutions, then finish by graphing. Um, but even if they hadn't asked us to solve for y, just understand that's a technique that you can use no matter what, is solving for y if it isn't already, and then finding your solutions. All right, so, so we'll do that first. Negative 2x plus 4y equals Eight. So of course I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So 4y equals 2x plus 8. And then I can divide both sides by 4. And remember, I, I've showed this trick before. You can always just take this 4 and put it underneath of each, each of the terms individually. And then you can, of course, reduce 2 fourths is 1 half. So this becomes 1 half x plus 2. And so I can see now, if I want to make sure I continue to have integers as y values, I just need to pick x values that are divisible by 2. So up here, I'll make my table. I'll pick some x values. And again, it's good to get an x, at least one x value that's negative and at least one that's positive. Um, so let's see, let's make x equal to negative 4. And so 1 half times negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. Um, let's pick 0. 0 is always a great one to pick. Um, so if I put 0 in for x, I get 2. And then let's put something like 8 in. 1 half times 8 plus 2. 1 half times 8 is 4 plus 2 is 6. And so we end up with the three ordered pairs, negative 4, comma 0, 0, comma 2, and 8, comma 6. And so we can graph these ordered pairs, negative 4, 0, 0, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now remember, just plotting the points is not graphing the equation. Graphing the equation means we draw a line through those points. So the graph is that complete line that we draw. And so we go ahead and connect these up as best we can. And really, you know, the best thing is to have like a, a ruler or some other sort of straight edge to help you be accurate, more accurate than I'm being. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of forced to freehand this because of the way the videos are made. And so we get a line going through those. Remember, always put arrows indicating that the line extends forever in both directions. And this is the graph of our equation, negative 2x plus 4y equals 8.